Hello, welcome back to the Frayed Brush and another episode of Let's Sling Some Paint. Um, we're back with Brion Bearson from the Scale 75 line. Um, been working on him so far. We've done videos on the skin, uh, the hair, and the boots. Today, we're going to be working on the chainmail areas, and they are here on the shoulders and around the front. And if you flip them over, you see the backs and a little tail hanging down down here. All right, so let's get started. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take um, some metal color, Vallejo metal color silver. Give it a good shake. And I'm gonna put some down on the little wet palette here. All right. <clears throat> and as usual, I'm using my uh, Artist Opus Series S size three. I'm just gonna give all this a good coat. And it should Paint covers really well. Oops, sorry, my frame there. So it should just take um, one coat. Uh, we'll uh, see how it goes. So I'm gonna get this silver laid down on all the uh, chain mail, let it dry, and we'll be right back. Okay, so all of the silver is dry. Let's see if I can focus there, there we go. All right, so I painted all the piece, places that I saw uh, chain mail. So now, because it's so bright, um, what we wanna do is, I wanna kinda dull it down a little bit and really pick out those shadows and actual the individual links of the chain mail. So what we're gonna do, we are going to grab some Nuln Oil. Get that on the palette. Right. And then, because I don't wanna just smush my uh, good brush, I'm gonna use an old uh, craft brush here. It's a, it's a very, uh, Expensive, just plain at number eight. I'm just kidding. You can get these for like a dollar for 20. Um, then we're going to go into this known oil a little bit. Okay. Then what we're going to do, we're just going to cover the chain mail in it. And what that does, we still have a lot of shine, but you could tell on this side where we put the nulled oil, all the links are really, you know, showing as opposed to this side where it's just blinding almost, especially on the camera, it's really bright. <clears throat> oh, let's get this side. I'm not worried about being messy, especially around this. I mean, I haven't really painted anything else that's you know, up against this stuff. So, it is what it is. I'm a, just enjoying painting. I don't do it to stay clean. Now, the one thing about the Nuln Oil and the Citadel um, shades is that they, they do take a minute to dry and you really want to be sure they're completely dry before before you move on to the next step. With this real quick. All right, so you can tell that's, that's got a much better look, much better look. So we're gonna let the shade dry and we'll be right back to put on um, a finishing touch. Okay, and we're back. So the shade has dried. Um, I like I like the way that uh, turned out. That's a it's a keeper. 
uh, as far as the actual metal goes. And if you'll notice, each part of the um, chainmail has the little um, trim that goes around it. I'll get my finger out of the way. So. Okay, so you can see each part of the trim, or each part of the chainmail has a little trim that goes around it. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to take some uh, Reaper Master Race Paints Intense Brown on I'm 138, and we're gonna run that along each of the pieces of trim that goes around that uh, chainmail. And we'll, we'll see how that looks. Also, as a side note, you remember the last video we did? I think it was the last video, I'm not sure. But we did the boots and we did the black trim around them. Don't think I like that. So next time you see old uh, Brown Bear Sun here, the boots might look a little bit different. Um, if I do change them, then I'll be sure and let you know what, uh, what I change them to. I think that black just turned out to be a little too distracting almost. It really takes away from the look of the boots. We're just gonna line all the chain mail like that with that um, intense brown. And once that's all painted and dried, we'll be back to see how it looks. Okay, so we uh, got all the trim for the uh, chainmail painted. I uh, like the way it looks. I think we're going to go ahead and keep it. A uh, quick recap of the steps we did. We took the Vallejo Metal Color Silver, covered all of the chainmail, let that dry. Then we took Nolan Oil, washed it all over the chainmail to get some depth in there, see shadows, you know, break up the shininess a little bit. And then once that was dry, we took Reaper Master Race Paints Intense Brown and colored in the trim. So that's it for this uh, episode of Let's Sling Some Paint. Be sure and leave a comment below if you have any questions or anything. Uh, give that video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, going ahead and clicking that subscribe button is already appreciated. Is always appreciated. It really helps out the channel. And going to have um, probably a couple more videos coming up here pretty quick uh, throughout the week. So be sure you go ahead and hit that bell icon so you get notifications when a new video is uploaded. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Fred Brush. We'll see you next time. Until then, paint bravely.